Welcome back to Idea Spotlight on Beyond the Brick. I'm Joshua Hanlon, and today I'm very happy to have Alex, the designer of the Home Alone set and his current project, Rescue Rangers, on Ideas, joining me today. And before we launch in with Alex, I want to give a big shout out to CloneArmyCustoms.com for helping make these streams possible. Make sure you check them out for all of your custom LEGO Star Wars minifigures and accessories. They're always putting out new products over there. Lots of cool stuff to check out. You can look for a link to their website in the description of this video. So as I mentioned, Alex is the designer of the Home Alone set uh, that was announced to become uh, an official LEGO set. So thank you so much for joining me today, Alex. Uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to me to be here today. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start in with this then before we get to your, your current project that people can vote on. Um, sure. Because it's always super interesting to me to hear about kind of the, the process that a successful ideas project uh, goes through. So right. take us through kind of the, the history of this design and how you first started with this, and then we'll we'll get to the, the 10,000 votes process. Oh, uh, well, actually, uh, we, we, I and my wife were always a very big fans of Winter Village series. Actually, this is, this, this series uh, brought us back into the Lego. Um, and it, I guess it started in 2016. And after that, uh, we, uh, we were watching, you know, Home Alone was like a family tradition to watch Home Alone on Christmas. And it was a 2019 Christmas. And I was like, uh, hey, how cool would it be to have a Home Alone <laughs> uh, Lego set? And why is there no Lego set for Home Alone uh, based on Home Alone? So, and then this is, where, this is when the idea uh, came to my mind. And... Uh, yeah, the next day I was uh, sitting and putting together this <laughs> this thing that you can see right now on your screens. Um, in started in all started in Lego Digital Designer, and um, then I did some renderings in uh, Studio. Um, yeah, that's that's how it turned out. Uh, we, the start the start was pretty successful, I guess. It gained like 700 uh, votes in the first week. And then uh, there was a big shout out from uh, Macaulay Culkin on his Twitter. And I, was, <laughs> I couldn't be happier that that day. And yeah, it looks like uh, Ideas members uh, of the review board uh, found this project to be, <laughs> to be good enough to be produced. So, do you remember how long it took from when you put the project up to the ten thousand vote mark? Um, I, if I'm not wrong, it took nine months, which is um, not the fastest uh, uh, supporters chain, but uh, it's it's pretty fine. I mean, we still had like three hundred days and something uh, when the project hit ten ten thousand votes. Mm, yeah, right. So yeah, I mean that that's not bad at all, you know, uh just getting the support out there. So outside of the tweet that you mentioned, uh were there like fan clubs or that sort of thing you shared it with or Facebook groups, anything like that that really helped push the 10,000 votes? Uh, with this project, I guess I was just you know lucky enough because this is it was like a spot on people started to share it and uh this is uh from basically from where people uh came and then when big uh big uh, blogs also uh posted it some some people came from there and um uh, macaulay calkins uh, tweet was <laughs> was a great help and um then also I had some uh, Russian YouTubers who who helped me with this project as well. So um, yeah, Instagram, social medias are are just do great job today with all this promoting stuff. Um, so yeah, basically that that that's how it <laughs> got to 10k mark. <laughs> And you mentioned an interesting point there. So this is all built digitally. Have you ever built this model with physical bricks yet, or has it been all completely digital? Uh, 
in this case it was all digital because uh, this thing is actually massive i mean it three three thousand uh pieces in there and uh a, a lot of pieces were uh were not available in the in that color that mess masonry uh, uh bricks are not available in reddish brown and uh, uh that would be quite impossible to build this uh this thing for numerous reasons uh but i actually even <laughs> one day i even uh looked through how, how many pieces it has and uh mm, uploaded it to a brick brickling and uh yeah it turned out to be pretty impossible um so, so when it hit ten thousand, then was that a concern? Did the the Lego designers reach out to you and say, you know, we need to build this with physical bricks and figure out exactly how we're going to do this? Or as that process has gone on here after you hit ten thousand, uh, what was that kind of collaboration like? Right. Uh, as as far as I know, uh, the Ideas Review Board always uh, evaluate, uh, you know, the stability of. Uh, of the build, like it's uh, playable features and stuff like that. So I'm guessing uh, that uh, they, they, they tested it, it somehow and probably, uh, I don't know, but probably they put it together uh, on their side, but it, it wasn't a problem. Like you, you don't have to put it together with physical breaks here. Uh, when you're reach 10K, it's, it's not a problem at all. Uh, so, yeah <laughs> and and one thing i love about the way you design this is how modular almost like a dollhouse type effect this house has where things open up and you've got all those features in there so take us through then kind of the design of the house itself kind of the, maybe the different rooms you were able to include and then how it all kind of folds together or opens up for playability uh, right actually i <laughs> i spend a lot of time watching um watching through some uh, some different scenes from from the movie just to you know just to get the um, the actual plan of the house and then uh, i was able even to find a real plan of the house uh, of this ma uh, <clears throat> mention uh, in on the web and um i've tried to put the most important um uh, rooms uh, spaces into this uh, project so it was like uh you know uh hall the kitchen where all the action uh was performed and like bus room uh the the attic of course <laughs> uh, so and what about regarding uh, the opening features uh i was just trying you know to to make it as uh, accessible as as possible i mean the, i just wanted to make sure that when you build it and you, you we will be able to uh get to the kitchen so i made a, a kitchen roof uh, it, it can be uh opened up separately and then the whole house could be uh opened like a doll house and uh, in addition to that you you can uh took off the whole the whole roof itself um yeah and uh, also i've included that uh iconic tree house because uh, i wanted to, <laughs> to be sure to make sure that kevin will be will be able to escape from <laughs> bad bandits <laughs> Yeah, and that's what makes this movie, you know, so fun and amazing. I think why there's so many like passionate fans who love this movie is all right. of those different iconic scenes, the crazy stuff the characters are doing throughout the movie. So what are some of your favorite details that you were able to uh, include in the house? And was there anything that maybe for, for whatever reason you just weren't able to include from the movie that you tried and it just didn't work out? Uh, yeah, there's definitely one thing uh, I really wanted to put in there but i wasn't able to do that and that's uh uh that's the first the first floor uh let me tell you how's that in english let me just uh <laughs> tell you uh, one of the first floor rooms um uh, here basement or basement i forgot okay. the word yeah so i couldn't put it uh into this mod because you you obviously you have to uh raise all the all the uh the house to 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 make it uh to put it in there and it's like it's quite it kind of 
would be it, it would ruin the you know the whole look of the house it would be un, unproportional and uh, didn't wouldn't look that nice so i i didn't put basement in there and what regarding that uh, you, you you ask what was was my uh, favorites uh, detail in this house? Uh, there's actually actually a lot of uh, I had a you lot. You can of have fun. more than one favorite. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's I mean there's you know there's so much fun building this uh, thing because so much so many uh, iconic things in this movie and uh, one of my favorite things were probably Buzz's room with his chest and girlfriend's uh, picture I put on his uh, wall. Uh, also there's uh, his, you know, gu uh, gun, Buzz's gun and um, also uh, kitchen is one of my favorite uh, spaces in this uh, house. So I uh, uh, yeah what else uh, I love the uh, the piano that you were able to include in there uh, right the piano is something I, I, I really it, it, it took a lot of space but I really wanted it to be there because uh, I just I just like pianos and it looked kind of cool so I uh, tried to put uh, to keep it in there uh, it goes yeah, very well with the, the grand piano idea set that was <laughs> it looks like a nice miniature version <laughs> Yeah, that's that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I also like how uh, that uh, scene with a uh, Christmas tree and uh, uh, turned out where when uh, Harry was like looking through the window. Uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, and um, what else? Yeah, th uh, that that is a lot <laughs> lot of great details there. So I'm sure you you don't have to name everyone, but there is a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah, thanks to Chris Columbus, the director of the movie, who, who was able to, you know, <laughs> put all, all those things in things in his movie. Now, the, the minifigures you did digitally as well, right? So how did you kind of design those? Are those all, like, custom designs for the minifigures' clothing and hair pieces and that sort of thing, or existing parts? They're, they're pretty simple, to be honest. Uh, well, uh, honestly, this was my, like... Uh, fifth mock or something like that in like in my uh <laughs> career uh <laughs> right so I, I wasn't that good in uh digital design uh at that moment so uh, those uh figures uses use just uh you know generic usual body pieces and hair pieces nothing nothing too special but you know it, it does the trick <laughs> they they're pretty Pretty recognizable, uh, I think. So, <laughs> I always think it's fun when uh, designers can include kind of like cool pieces in a set that fans will really like. So, are there any particular pieces in this set that you're kind of hoping they'll include in the official set when it gets released, and pieces that you think you know fans will be excited about that they're able to include with this? Um, well, if you're if you're talking about like. Uh, Lego piece, one, yeah. you know, one piece, then my most favorite will probably be uh, Buzz girlfriend's portrait. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, and um, uh, my favorite detail, like a bigger detail, is probably a, a tree and a tree house. Uh, this is something I would really love to see in the final uh, product. Um, yeah. <laughs> Right. That's that's very exciting. And it's even more impressive. Uh, you know, you mentioned that this was only like your fifth mock you had ever done. So you're still pretty new to Lego yeah. building. So that, that makes it even cooler than you are able Le to have a successful project. Yeah, I still can't believe I'm that, <laughs> I'm that lucky. <laughs> That's yeah, that's that's awesome. Have you ever been able to visit any Lego conventions or shows in the past or pretty much just interacted with fans online? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, well, in uh, I, I'm from Ukraine, and in Ukraine you don't have a lot of conventions, no. uh, like a convention, so you have to travel somewhere uh, to visit uh, like a convention, so I didn't have a chance yet. But hopefully, <laughs> once the whole thing with the COVID will finish, I, I will have that a chance. <laughs>
Yeah, that'd be awesome, especially when it, whenever the set eventually gets released, if you can go around to some conventions and Lego stores and stuff right. like that, uh, right. maybe, maybe sign a few copies for some folks. <laughs> Would love to. <laughs> Would love to, guys. With pleasure. Well, congratulations on that project. Uh, it's super impressive. And I have I've know when it was first announced uh, that it was going to become a set, I talked to a lot of people who have been very excited. I'm a big fan of the movie, so I'm excited to to check it out. Uh, so it, it should be very awesome. And I know you'll have uh, a lot of Lego fans you've made very happy through that design. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, yeah. I, I think even, you know, families who's not even into Lego would love to have this thing as a Christmas decoration. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. For sure. And I do want to switch gears here then to your Rescue Rangers project. So this is your current project that you have on ideas that people can still vote for uh, right now. So I believe this right. is based on a, a Disney TV show. So kind of give us the, the background and story behind the show and what, what part uh, you depicted here in, in your build. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, this is a... Uh, I iconic uh, aircraft from, from uh, Disney uh, show Rescue Rangers. Um, well, a lot of my mocks are, you know, inspired by, as I, as I call it, severe nostalgia. <laughs> so um, this one, uh, you know, probably memories of like running home like crazy to be on time to watch this uh, show uh, inspired me to, to build it. And uh, Rescue Rangers was one of my favorite shows uh, when I was a kid. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of cool that uh, uh, I can I hear from my uh, supporters, from uh, my followers that uh, their kids nowadays still like this show and they, they watch it on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, so... And one thing I really like, really like about um, this uh, idea is that, you know, kind of par parallel between uh, the show where, where Gadget, uh, the, the mouse, uh, she always invented some things. She built this, um, she built this uh, aircraft. She always, uh, she always did some inventions and uh, built stuff with uh, using different uh, things. Like for example, she used like a, a bottle cap for for a steering wheel and stuff like that. And I think it's kind of very pr pretty cool parallel between that show and uh, uh, the Lego. So you're you're building with Lego, you assemble things, and uh, the show was all about action and uh building uh, building some stuff inventions so uh yeah i actually have it right here uh built physically this time so it's right here awesome <laughs> yeah uh, i mean some some stuff i didn't i didn't have a, a lot uh, all the pieces in the right colors so so some some things are painted <laughs> but it still does the trick so yeah and here here we go uh let me show you it can it can fly. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a play feature there. So that kind of explain kind of the, the mechanics then of that a little bit, if you can, and kind of how, how that yeah. came together. Uh, yeah, actually, the, the mechanics are pr pretty simple here, but I mean, it, it does the trick. Uh, I, I just couldn't make it static. You know, the, the show is all about the action and uh, uh, adventures. So uh, I added, I've added this uh, turn the crank to, to fly feature. Um, it. So when you're turning the crank, uh, wings flap and it tilt a little bit. Uh, the whole the whole plane tilt a little bit. It's 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 quite simple. But my uh, my you know uh, goal was to make it uh, to keep it sleek, to keep it simple. Uh, I wanted it to be both a good a, dis a good display piece and something that you know uh, kids can play with because uh, I realized that. Uh, primarily, this is the thing for ad adults who has uh, a nostalgia about those times where, when uh, they were watching this show. Uh, but I also wanted it to be, you know, like kind of fu functional. So uh, I've designed this uh, platform, uh, and you can actually easy uh, dismount the whole thing and carry carry it and play with. So uh, I think kids will have fun playing it, uh, you know, uh, and 
like adults like me and uh, my friends would would love to put it on display just just like that um um yeah so <laughs> right and now one one part of this that catches my eye is the the red kind of balloon part there so what uh what pieces did you use to make that top part and how did you get those to fit together yeah actually uh <laughs> i'm happy you you asked because uh the the balloon is uh where i started where, when when I, where i started so it was pretty important for me to to make that uh you know balloon shape uh to, to look nice so uh it's kind of um fun because um this central piece is actually uh jurassic world uh spheric piece it's oh. transparent yeah, it's transparent, but we we don't have it in red color, so I had to paint it. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it does the the trick. And um, this is this is just simple. This is the 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 used in city uh, sets and stuff like this, like kind of bar barrels, I guess. <clears throat> and um, also another thing I'm pretty proud with is uh, this uh, tail. It is actually just a regular. A regular cape i i didn't know how to make that uh, shape of the um, tail so um, at first i had it like uh i i don't remember the uh, part uh part name i'm i'm used first but uh then i uh i saw this little guy <laughs> and you know i stole his cape and it, yeah, it's uh, he. He inspired me uh, to put this uh, piece uh, as a tail, and I think it turned out pretty cool. And as you can see on my renders, uh, I go farther, and I'm using that scalloped cape. It it works even better. It fits almost perfectly uh, with the with the sh uh, like with the original look of the airplane. <clears throat> um, yes, yeah, so. Are you using uh, for this project, you know, after having the successful Home Alone project and it's going to become a set, what kind of lessons did you pull from that that you're using to either promote this project or even the, the way you designed it or any, anything you might have pulled from that, your first successful Home Alone project with this one? Uh, well, it, it's definitely, <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny because, you know, it's, uh, I definitely have more experience now. I have better building skills, better rendering skills. So it, it's, it all helped a lot, but, uh, having all this background, <laughs> it's funny because this, th this project gains not uh, not that much votes, even even though I have now like social medias and uh, like some people know me, <laughs> you know, le in Lego circles. But mm, this thing gained votes, but not as fast as Home Alone. That is kind of funny. So it's basically, I would say, it's all about the idea. <laughs> Yeah, and just kind of having that idea that really captures people's attention. Um, right. I think yeah. I think that's true. And like you said, you know, this show is back on Disney Plus now, so there's kind of a new generation of people coming in and starting to watch. So uh, hopefully that would help, you know, pick up the support in the future. Ah, uh, right, right, right. That's that's great. I mean, the shows were so great though, that those times, and I'm I'm happy the new generation will <laughs> will enjoy it as well. Yeah, this is this is a great project. So uh, another interesting thing uh, that I noticed between this and the Home Alone. So Home Alone, you went very large, like you said. There were like several thousand pieces in that right. it's a big building. This is a much smaller project. So when you're when you've got kind of an idea for a project, maybe you're like, I, I've got this TV show or a movie that I want to base a project on. How do you decide then, kind of what scale to go at there, and and how big to take a project? Uh, well, I always knew I wanted it to be a minifigures uh, scale because, you know, it's always gives you more playability. You can uh, play with minifigures and, you know, it's kind of kind of cool to me. Um, so there, there weren't a lot of questions about the scale, but um, I'm pretty happy that now it, it's not that large project as a home alone because you know you like what one of my main problem when i was awaiting the, the results of home alone uh review was like it, it's too big it's too big and i thought it will be rejected because it is too big and it's like and it's about season and stuff like that so now we have a i have a small small project that have 
uses popular um, IP and uh, well hopefully it will help it in a review stage if it if it reaches uh, the 10k uh, mark mm, so yeah good uh, you know small projects is always good because we have a lot of uh, expensive and large ideas projects so i think that yeah i think that um small projects would be something different it would be cool right they've certainly in the last year or two started going much larger you know more pieces just more expensive yeah. uh ideas projects in general for sure the pre house the piano yeah they were all cool but <laughs> so so large and pretty expensive but yeah, this project is great. So for everyone watching, we'll have a link to the Rescue Rangers project in the description below of this video. It. So you can click on that and go over and lend your support uh, to the Rescue Rangers project. Alex, it's been a real pleasure chatting with you both about uh, Home Alone and your current project here. So keep up the good work. Uh, for people who want to follow your work online and see what you do in the future, what's the best places to, to do that online? Oh, well, I guess Instagram lego lego dot adwin or of twitter twitter you can find me on twitter and i like just typing adwin <laughs> it works thank you thank you joshua it was a pleasure to me as well <laughs> awesome yeah i definitely keep up the good work maybe when the the home alone set is released we can have you back on for some building and chatting about uh the, the final product i think that'd be a lot of fun absolutely we'll be looking forward <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you everyone for watching we'll see